Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. This is Madhushri from first year AIDS department, Chennai Institute of Technology playing today's host. I am pleased to see you all in this glorious evening and I'm highly gratified to hail you all to today's session, online workshop on app development with Zenmarin in association with Microsoft Student Ambassador Program. It is exciting to share that Chennai Institute of Technology has teamed up with many virtual webinars that embrace new innovation, research, technology, career guidance to Knowledge 4.0 technical webinar series, and almost cracked 400 plus webinars and workshops. Indeed, CIT being the active members of Computer Society of India, which is the first largest national body representing the computer professionals of India, engages every student with many CSA activities and skills. Mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be ignited. Now, I request Danya from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department to welcome these gleaming eyes. A very pleasant and a warm evening to all. It's with tremendous pleasure that I welcome you all to ramble in the monarch of this online shop workshop on app development with Jam Marine in association with Microsoft Student Ambassador Program. I am Danya from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department, first year, and I'm delighted to represent the supreme essence of today's session. I take this moment to glorify Chennai Institute of Technology for this divine journey and my deep gratitude to our chairman, Mr. P. Sriram sir, for this signature story in our path. We would like to show our enormous tribute towards our principal, Dr. A. Ramesh sir, beloved head of the department, Dr. S. Pavitra ma'am, and all the faculty members of Computer Science and Engineering and Information Technology Department. And also to our generous support, Mr. Sendal Kumar sir, for paving the way to reach higher triumphs. I kindly welcome the coordinator and student ambassador of Microsoft, Mr. Sri Sharan Raj, sir. I am also happy to welcome Mr. K. Mandramuthi, sir, from Sync Software Private Limited. With my heartfelt bliss, I welcome you all to today's workshop that will help you hone the skills you have been interested in learning. But more importantly, we'll spend valuable one-on-one -on -one time with each and every one of you so that you know your voice is not only being heard, but also valued. Thank you. Thank you, Danya. Today, for sure, we are going to have an exclusive workshop. We have an enthusiastic student speaker whom you all are aware of now. I could like to invite Sanju Sri from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department to give a brief introduction about our speaker. Good evening. I take this moment to prolong our speaker, Mr. K. Mandiramurthy. App developer from Syncfusion Software Private Limited, an alumni of Chennai Institute of Technology. I find a profound joy on portraying our guest speaker. He is a Pega certified system architect. He is well versed in being an Android developer. To be more precise, he holds endorsement in Xamarin, JSP, Servlet, Tomcat, Shrux, and so on. He worked as an intern in back and development at Baviga Solution Private Limited as an Android app developer for automatically guided vehicle at YCS Solution. He is a winner of Smart India Hackathon 2017. Indeed, he also mentored the top five finalists of Smart India Hackathon 2020. He has won the Best Solution Award for Synhackathon conducted by Government of Andhra Pradesh and Fintech Solution. Without further ado, we will turn the time over to our speaker, Mr. K. Mandiramurthy to take over the session. Uh, yes, th thank you, Sanjay Sri. Thank you for the wonderful introduction for me. So, uh, I am so, uh, Saran, can you share the screen? Hi, Sharon, can you share the screen? Sorry. 
so first uh, first uh, xamarin abingirad enna so mobile app development na enna so in the session full ave eppadi irukka podu abinna namma vande summa or presentation la paathittu adha full ah explain pannittu indha concept idu so andha mari illama full and full demo oriented ah mattum dhaan indha ppt ah irukku indha presentation full ave irukku podu ppt or 5 or 5 or 10 minutes avula dhaan irukum mathapadi full and full idu full ave or hands on experience oda dhaan irukku podu so first uh, xamarin abingirad enna nu solradhukku munnadi na ungalku or demo oda start pannan aarambikiren yen abinna நம்மளுக்கு ஒரு டார்கெட் நம்மளுக்கு ஆல்ரெடி தெரிஞ்சது அப்படின்னா நம்மளோட ப்ராக்ரஸ் வந்து நல்லா இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் ஆகும் அது நம்மளோட லேர்னிங் கேப்பபிலிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும் ஸோ அதனால நம்மளோட முதல்ல வந்து நம்ம என்ன இந்த அட் த எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஒர்க் ஷாப் நம்ம வந்து என்ன கத்துக்கிட போறோம் ஸோ அப்படிங்கறத நான் வந்து முதல்லயே இங்க வந்து என்ன பண்றேன் குரூப்ல எல்லாரும்ரூப் <laughs> Yes, can, you, can anyone install and share the screen? The organizers also, also can, can share the screen. So anyone can install. This is developed by the Xamarin uh, tool. This is the game. At the end, we are learning this concept It briefly. so this is the game so in the bottom there is a number so we have several bubbles right in the middle right so we have to click the if the sum of this bubble is equal to the number then we, you you got one score so like that so can you check, please click on it yes so i am going to explain how to develop the, this app okay so yes so i think vandu ungalku ellathukume visible aayi irukum nu nenikiren so yeah so so ninga ipo modalla idukku munadi edhula paathinga appadina android app development la paathinga or android la vandu eppadi vandha and app install aayirukke abingiradha paathinga so ipo na vandu enna na neriya per paathirupinga neriya different types of phone use pannirupanga one android android vandu familiar ah ellarum use pandradhu இன்னொன்று என்னன்னா யூடபிள்யூபி விண்டோஸ் போன் வந்து இதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஃபேமஸா இருந்தது பட் இப்போ வந்து நிறைய பேர் யூஸ் பண்ணல அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்ம வந்து ஐஓஎஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ நம்ம கிராஸ் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் என்ன அப்படின்னா ஆண்ட்ராய்டு அண்ட் ஐஓஎஸ் அண்ட் யூடபிள்யூபி டெவலப்மெண்ட் மொத்தமா ஒரே டூல்ல பண்றதுக்கு பேர் தான் கிராஸ் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் டெவலப்மெண்ட் டூல் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ நம்ம அதுக்கு வந்து ஜாமரின்னு ஒரு டூல் யூஸ் பண்ண போறோம் ஸோ இப்போ நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா ஆல்ரெடி ஒருத்தங்க வந்து ஸ்கிரீன் ஷேர் பண்ணி ஆண்ட்ராய்டோட டெமோ காட்டினாங்க ஸோ இப்போ நான் என்ன பண்றேன் அப்படின்னா யூடபிள்யூபி அதாவது விண்டோஸ் ஃபோன் போன்ல எப்படி டிஸ்பிளே ஆகும் ஸோ யூடபிள்யூபி அப்படின்னா யூனிவர்சல் விண்டோஸ் பிரசன்டேஷன் ஸோ இதனால இதுல வந்து என்ன பண்ணலாம் அப்படின்னா நம்ம வந்து அட் த சேம் டைம் விண்டோஸ் போனுக்கும் பண்ணிக்கலாம் அட் த சேம் டைம் விண்டோஸ் போன் அண்ட் நம்மளோட சிஸ்டத்துக்கும் சேர்த்தே பண்ணிக்கலாம் so it's loading so uh, after loading i will show that so myself i am andrumurthy working as software engineer in uh, singfusion software private limited 
and what is grass platform app development so grass uh, platform development uh, we can develop the application with by using the same code with different platform like android and ios and uwp how it work so uh, in normally when we develop the app, we have we have to code we have to code each and every ui component and the back end code right so in xamarin what they will do is when we uh, when we code in the uh, on common uh, common place for x form then automatically it will create the same same ui in the uwp android and ios so in uh, if we create label label it's, it's nothing like when we open any app the, there will be a text which can, we cannot edit or select anything it it will be display right so this this is called label in uh, x form so it, it is called as uh, text box in uwp the windows platform and text view in android and ui view in ios so when we create the label in x form then automatically ui view text box and text view automatically created in the back end so when we uh, write the one code it, the xamarin itself take care of other uh, other platform coding so uh, we have to we, uh, we don't want to uh, code much so with a single base code we can develop the three pla different uh, platform for yes, uh, application so this is the uh, cross platform development tool so when we uh, creating the uh, a button and text view but it, this is called button a button is nothing but when you open any app it's like example for facebook there is a button called login right so the login is called the button so we have the text box uh, text view here we have the text view here then the, we have the uh, buttons here so how it's look like in uh, ios android and uh, uwp that's x form so in uh, this is ios device and this is android device and this is uwp device so the same thing like uh, when we create any ui it's like uh, it's it's like a slider or progress bar uh, you can see in many application right so when we open the app it will get loading first then only the app gets started so the uh, it will uh, display like this right so we uh, we have uh, progress bar in android and ios as so well we have the uh, slider it's it's like we uh, the range slider we can specify the range right so uh, this is the example for uh, cross platform development tool so uh, it's uh, xamarin is like a open source mobile ui uh, framework it's developed by microsoft it's used for building android ios and windows app with dotnet for single shared code base so i have uh, show show you the demo so here we have the four folder you when you can see the four folder right this is for the uh, common code for common uh, place for android and ios and uwp so we can code here i have already as i already told you it's automatically the code will be generated in uh, android ios and uwp we have the four folder this is the xamarin app by using the single code we can we can use we can develop multiple app so it's also used for not only the android device it's, it's also for android tv the ios wearable uh, watches like uh, that's also we can develop the those kinds of app also So this is the uh, Xamarin uh, Xamarin intro. So uh, it's it's like I, as I already told you, there is a common uh, file called Xamarin form that, where we can have the uh, we, we, we can code the uh, code for uh, both uh, iOS and Android and uh, Windows platform. Then we have the shared C sharp business, business logic. We, we can also uh, do the backend code if we knew we. we need to achieve any specific platform uh, uh, code then we have we can also code for the other files so we can achieve the native uh, experience also so this is the uh, cross platform so in uh, xamarin most of the xamarin developer will have share average of 80 percentage of uh, code across the mobile apps they are using the same code android and ios and uwp so i will uh, quickly wind up the session with a simple example so i have uh, shown the demo for that game so i have 
uh, every day we are using the uh, state uh, we are putting status right when we are our friend or relative having a birthday then what will you do we will collect the all those photo related to the person then we we have played the play particular music then we have uh, make as a video then we have put it as a status right so now i am going to show the demo for this okay, okay i will explain the concept how how to develop it in android and ios and uwp as i already told you there is a single single uh, file in, uh, file in the xamarin that is called xform xform folder so in 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 xform we can code the uh, common code for android and uwp and ios as a, as i already informed you uh, the uh, remaining code for the uh, android and ios and uwp automatically generated by the uh, xamarin so i am going to show you the demo so first uh, what we need for the for that app, I, uh, the app is uh, we are we are uh, displaying the uh, certain amount of image with uh, periodic time then we have uh, play the music in the background right so first we want that the collection of picture right yes the first we want collection of pictures so i have already collected the, uh, some collection of picture uh, it's it's like collection i already collected the uh, collection of picture it's uh, it's uh, i have already stored in the file it's here everyone is visible right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i have put a four uh, six file in the in this folder so i have used in our our xamarin platform in every uh, everything in the app you see that is called ui that is uh, written in uh, main page dot xaml then we we can code we can code the backend code it's like when we open the uh, facebook app then we have entered the uh, first name or la last name and the password right so that is when we whatever you see in the page that is ui we can uh, design in uh, main page dot xaml and in the backend code we uh, the ba the uh, backend the functionality when we click the login button then automatically it will check whether the this person already exists in the facebook or not so uh, if it is not then it will uh, so yes the password is wrong the user is not exist though, like that that will display right so those code uh, will be code in the main uh, main page dot xml dot cs so uh, i as i already told you the front end the whatever you see seeing in the page it's written in xaml the back end code is already uh, as i told as i told it's develop, it's written in the c sharp code so i have uh, code uh, here so when we uh, first uh, as first uh, uh, our aim is to uh, display the different image with, with a particular interval right so i want the timer timer is nothing but it will period background it will periodically run the certain code that is called a timer in c sharp so i have used this timer and i have also set the interval for the timer and i, I have set the event for time slot when every uh, 500 5000 millisecond automatically this code will execute in this code i have changed the image so i have just called the set image it will set the image of the page so uh, first what we need is uh, the uh, per, per certain interval of time the page is uh, has to change right so for the, uh, that is that is our first thing first thing so i have written code for uh, for this uh, so I have uh, once again I am I am explaining. I will ju for just creating the timer and I will set the interval for the timer and I have uh, set the event and I will start the timer. So it will automatically change the image with the periodic periodic time. So here I, I have written the code and also at the same time the audio also has started right. So I have started the audio before uh, starting the. Uh, uh, image displaying so i have uh, uh, added the uh, a1 dot mp3 file this is the audio file then i have uh, written code for i have just getting the audio st audio stream it's like audio file then i have uh, put it in the simple player then load the, uh, load that file into the player then i have played so what i am doing is i will uh, display the uh, certain amount of uh, uh, 
uh, a picture with a certain period of time and also i will at the same time i will also start playing the music so when i run it i have already uh, run this sample so i will just open it so it's like it's collection of my friends photos and i also started the uh, friend related music it will display the so this is what we are uh, setting in the video app right so the same thing we can do it it's like simple code it's like uh, 10 or 15 line when you know the uh, xamarin platform you can develop any kind of app any kind of app you can also add the text in between we can we have also when we uh, create the video then we also place the text right so we can add it in the xml page so we can create like that so uh, uh, like this only i have uh, developed that uh, that app so due to time constraint i will works, uh, only explain the concept so uh, this is the demo did everyone see you can chat yes so you can develop any kind of app uh, So uh, now I once again I will explain the same thing. When I uh, uh, we can also run it in the uh, Android also. I will start running it at the end of the end of the session. I will show you in the Android also. I have the virtual device in my phone, in my uh, system. I will uh, explain after uh, explaining this PPT. Okay. Okay, the same logic, right? So I have uh, coded in only one file, right? Then automatically the UWP and Android code, it's automatically generated by the summary. When I run, it will run as, as it is in the native. So uh, as I said, the uh, average of the uh, average of summary developers are 80% of code across uh, mobile apps. So what is the pros? What is the advantage of uh, using the Xamarin for development? So it's uh, one technology stack. So code for all platform. As I already told, I have already uh, shown the demo also. I have written only one code, at the, but I have run it a different platform, right? So that is, uh, that is uh, one technology stack to code for all platform and the performance close to native. As I already told you, it will create it will create the ui element as it is in the native platform it's like uh, when we create the progress bar in x form then uh, it will create as like this in the native android so as like in the ios it will not same the UI, same ui it's, it that is a uh, advantage of uh, this xamarin and the native user experience when we use the uh, app developed by xamarin there is no difference between the native and uh, cross platform uh, uh, development so uh, in xamarin but other cross platform will have that uh, different but in xamarin there is no uh, different then whole uh, full hardware support uh, we can access any hardware in uh, xamarin and it's also open source technology with strong corporate support it was developed by microsoft and also maintained by the microsoft every update when we have any uh, feature in android uh, the android will release a, a feature right so uh, if it is uh, recently released uh, the version for uh, the next release of android then the same support will be added in the xamarin so we have the up to date uh, thing then simply uh, simplified maintenance so uh, as i see i have written only one code so if I want to change any UI element or any background code, so I can change it in the single code itself, the X form itself. So the simplified maintenance, and it's also support for TVs and wearable and IoTs also. 
so as i already told you so uh, con cons to the consider in uh, there is slightly delayed support for the latest platform updates even though they will update uh, as in the uh, native android or ios there is there is a some delay in, delay in uh, xamarin because they uh, when android will release any feature then uh, xamarin will have to uh, uh, pre uh, prepare for it then only they will release right so there will be a, a slightly delay not that much then a larger app size when we create the app using the xamarin there there is a conversion happened right so there is a, a large in file when we create the native platform in uh, 3 mp then uh, in xamarin it will take around 4 or 5 mp so the larger app size and the high cost for professional and enterprise use for the developer and student community community we can use the free software uh, free uh, edition but for the professional uh, if you want to create the uh, if you, if you, i have created the launch uh, app i have launched then i have to pay pay for it so that is a little high uh, compared to other the platform specific limitation some uh, some of the uh, uh, if uh, one feature only have in android the um, some of the feature only have in ios right so that is a, a platform limitation in uh, xamarin also so uh, we have seen the pros and cons of xamarin after seeing this does the xamarin have the feature so it have the uh, limitation but it was a robust and extensive and productive uh, cross platform app development and it was strongly maintained by microsoft there will the they will give you a powerful update so we can you uh, uh, we can use it so it's it will be accessed in the future because there is a uh, there is weekly update in the xamarin so we can get the up to date uh, the na native performance and the companies which are using uh, xamarin for mobile app development was this company the cognizant cognizant slack and honeywell and post hitlab microsoft honeywell flipboard like that so these are the major company this is the big company so that's why i have i have displayed so thank you so one staff is ready so this is the virtual device so uh, when we create uh, i think already some of them uh, worked in some of language right c and java and, and python or c sharp you are you, you are running in the black screen that is called console window right but in uh, we are developing the uh, so, so app for the android right so we want, we have to test when we when we test we need a android device right so, so that's why they are creating the virtual android device so that we can use it no problem once again i will the demo uh, show the demo for the android app which is uh, which was already uh, show, shown to you okay maybe a compatibility issue so you have seen the demo already right so do you think how much hours it take to develop you can message in the chat
hello one hour per six hours okay six hour 30 minutes six days three hours so i have developed the that app in uh, 45 minutes 45 minutes that is a uh, half an hour 15 minutes so when you when you know the technology stack you can develop any kind of app like this so as i already show you the demo yeah as i already show you the demo you can also develop the game and also we i have showed the demo for the video editing right so we can develop When we know the uh, query, so any queries you can uh, ask in um, murtik19098 at gmail.com. Yeah. You can contact me at murtik19098 at gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn. You can ask any queries. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. K. Mandiramuthi. That was a great session indeed. Now I invite Hariharan from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department to deliver the vote of thanks. Good evening, Hal. My myself Hariharan from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department, first year. It gives me an immense pleasure to thank you all for attending this tremendous event. I would like to express my enormous respect and gratitude to our beloved chairman, Sri P. Sriram, for our for. Uh, for his uh, strong-willed support and guidance. Next, I would like to thank our uh, respected principal, Dr. A. Ramesh, for his commitment and uh, towards uh, work and its execution. And our head of our department, Dr. S. Pavitra, for, for her generosity. And all faculty members of uh, computer, computer science engineering and information technology for their continued support and encouragement and guidance. It's a privilege to thank today's speaker, our alumni, Mr. K. Mantramuthi, for his flabbergasting workshop on app development with Xamarin. Our special thanks to our coordinator, Mr. K. Mr. S. Sendhil Kumar, for his uh, opportunity to cap catapult our talent. And my deep greetings towards our coordinator and Microsoft uh, student ambassador, Mr. Sri Saran Raj. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge uh, the immense support given my entire team to make this workshop a grand success. Last but not the least, I would ex extend my whole hearted gratitude to all the participants for your time and interest to make this event more success. Thank you all.